Hello friends, welcome back. So now we are going to look into how to take a backup of the virtual servers residing inside our host server. So I would be using a William Lamb's uh, VCD script for that, Ghetto VCD script. If you want to know more about it, I would recommend you to just uh, google ghettovcd.sh and you should get to this page. Um, there are a lot of uh, softwares like Veeam backup software and there would be many more such softwares but this is for free and you can use this script. I'm a great fan of William Lamb. Okay, so let's get started. The very first thing that we need to do is we need to download it. So let me download this. So you can download as star. And I will save it. I will save it in desktop. We can extract that. We'll extract it on the desktop. So here it is. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to transfer this file into our uh, data store. For that I can use either WinSCP or FastSCP, whatever you like. So put in your host name, username password private key file would be automatically generated okay so I have not enabled the SSH that's why it's giving me this error it's in stop state so I will start it okay okay and now we'll do the same thing again Alright, before I do that, before I transfer, I want to do just one more thing. If you remember from my previous video, uh, I have three hard disks and for which what I have done, I have made a single data store of two of those hard disks. I am still having third hard disk lying with me free. So, why you will be using backup is like what if your hard disk go, goes bad or something like that. So, what I will do, I will just add another storage another disk and uh, we'll make that as a backup data store all right so here it is the backup data store now can VMFS volume DS1 copy. So now we have uh, placed the folder. Next thing that we're going to do, we're going to put into the our host server. Say open. And we we'll log in. So we can see the folder over there. We head over VCD master. So now we can. go over there and if you do ls 
see the master folder over there and if we do ls over there then we can see there is a file get ovcd dot ss that is what we are interested in so we will change the permission for that file and we'll make it executable and we can check by checking the color it's green now so this is, that is what we want so the next thing that we are going to do is now we are going to use the VI editor to make a, a VM backup file which will have list of all the server for which we want to have a backup so we'll say VI VM backup So now we can, we have to put exactly the same, the name should be exactly the way we have, uh, you know, written the name over here, should be exactly the same. So I want to take backup for all my Windows server. Change FE, then exchange mode one space one exchange mode two I don't want to take backup from my um, New Jersey domain controller but yeah definitely for my New York domain controller DC one and Y and now we can save this file W write and Q or quit. Alright, so the next thing that we do is now we um, edit our script itself. Why we want to edit? Because we want to change the path. And here it's um, volumes and then backup. And also, if you want to change, you can change the number of backup for a given VM before deleting. So basically, it will it will keep three unique copies of each um, uh, backup machine. After that, it will start replacing it. And now we can um, save this file now. So what I will do, uh, let me take you back to the William Lamb script. So here are a bunch of options that you can do. If you want to take backup of all the VMs, then you can just run um, dash A and uh, it will take backup of all the servers over here but we have created a list and if you want to take a backup of only all those virtual servers that are in the list then you have to use a dash F and uh, right now what I will be doing I will be running in deb debug dry mode in dry uh, in dry run it doesn't take really backup it is just uh, actually doing the testing so let us do that so we need to do is dash f and then dash d you can see dash d and oops and then dry run I also need to mention the file which is v 
and backup the file that we created with the list. So here we go. Um, so it has done final status OK, only a dry run. So it was successful. Now the next thing that we can do is now we can uh, run a proper full run. So to do a proper run, we can remove this dry run and all we need to do is just um, do dash f and specify the name of the file with the list of all the virtual servers and uh, now it will start taking the backup so it's going to take a little bit of time depending on the vmdk file so I will just let it run So I can see as the backup is um, going on, the new folders are being created over here. It's complete for node 1. Now it should initiate from node 2. So if I do a refresh, I can see now node, node 2 folder coming over here. So it seems to be working. That's it. I will just stop the video over here.